were asked to um, kind of study some pull toys or products, so hopefully you brought in some printouts. Uh, and today we're going to be kind of tracing objects, but more than that, deconstructing them and breaking them down into their basic objects. So anytime you look at something you want to draw, think about you know what basic forms um, are in, in that form. So we've done stuff with cylinders, cones, spheres, and cubes. That's pretty much you know everything. Of course, there's more complicated versions of that. So that way, anytime you look at something you want to draw, you can kind of have a starting point and not get overwhelmed by the complexity of it. And then eventually, when you're thinking about your own designs, then you can use that same method to build your own objects. And so the, the assignment was open for a toy and or a product. So I brought in Mr. Snail here. So we'll, I'll, we'll work on him. And also brought in a more uh, tech object. It's like an infrared camera. And so if you all want to grab a piece of paper, um, if you have your object, although you don't have this exact one, you can kind of follow along. Uh, even, I see someone has a you know, Prismacolor pack, there's a car on the front, you could use that. Um, and, and anything you have, a type of printout. So, to get, get started. So, before I, I deconstruct this object, I want to get my my tools out and I'm going to use some tracing paper and nice thing about that is that it's tracing paper compared to marker paper is pretty cheap so I'm just going to use it to do a rough sketch of the object and um, I'm using a Copic multi-liner and also wanted to share this is a, a Japanese pen it's called the high tech and you can get it in Japantown. It just has a really extra fine, fine tip. So I'll show you some sketches with that. And I'm also going to have a black colored pencil here. So let's say this um, Raymond Lowy Coca-Cola dispenser here. So if you look at this initially. It's pretty much a cube, right, with rounded edges, and it has you know, a little cylinder here in the front and part line. So if I, if I were to kind of break this object down, and again, I'm using this tracing paper, so if it's not exactly perfect, it doesn't really matter. So what we want to do is actually draw through the object. And then we can eventually break it, break it down. So again, the sketch, I'm drawing the initial shape. So the bottom half of it, drawing the back, the front here. I'm not worried too much about making this perfect because this is just going to be an underlay. And then I have my little cylinder part here. And I have my, my finger set on the page so I can flip up the tracing paper to look at what's going on here. And there's another piece there. A little ball handle. And then now I can start to round out some of my edges. So what I did here is I have two boxes. I have this main bottom shape and I drew through the object and then I created the box on top. So you can kind of see that. And it does slope down here in the front, so kind of mirror that in here. So 
So I just want to show a quick, quick example here of how to break down this object. There's a little slope here. And so from there, we've already kind of laid down the groundwork for, for the object. But, so this was our a little warm up. So let's move on to a little bit more complicated object. We got this infrared camera. So again, I'm just gonna lay down my paper. Kind of get a good glimpse of it. And for this piece I have right here, I have a cylinder for the lens and as a cut through then this is almost kind of like a cube but uh, so let's say here I have a cylinder here I have a cube form but it's a little bit chopped off and then this back part Here's kind of a long cylinder. So basically have, mm, I could say this bottom part here is this cube and then on top of it, it has kind of a little bit more you know, thin, thin cube on top. So it's one, two, three, four parts and then of course the, the cord. So if you think about that, I can lay my tracing paper on here and kind of start on this side again, not worrying too much about getting it exactly perfect. Just getting the basic basic shape. Now I would be rotating the paper more but for the sake of the exercise, I'm keeping it stationary. So my, my lines are rough, but it's okay for now. And I'm drawing this top part. Again, I'm going to draw through the object. So this, see I drew the this top shape is this part here. And by drawing through it kind of teaches you about the, the construction of the, the object. Then it's a little dark, but more or less comes down like so. And start to get the Rough, rough shape of the camera lens. Again, I can always come back and fix this up if needed. Now I'm working on some of the details. There was a little screen aspect part here. Again, this is really rough, as you can see, but it's going to help me to build out the object later on. Looks like there's a metal curve there. Got another piece here. There's a little, little detail in there. Might be hard to see. some contour lines in here just to help myself out. Let's 
So if I take the underlay away, kind of left with a crude version of this little infrared device. Now what you can do is use the same medium or you know, colored pencil and I'm just going to flip my tracing paper over or you could just you know get a new sheet I'm just saving some paper and now I can oops, start to build out this form tighten it up a little bit I'm following the same same lines. I have my picture right next to me just to use for reference. Just edges are a little bit more rounded out than what I have. If you keep it light then you can always build it up later. So this little focus part had little ridges in it, so it's going to add some little notches in here. Again, when I'm making the notches going around the object, they're getting tighter at the base and then get, getting more spaced out towards the top. pretty much just want to stay loose. If you overshoot the lines, it gives life to the sketch. You don't want to go too dark in that line, but just enough to give it some, some pop. Eventually we'll, we'll be working with markers, but I'm just getting a kind of a beginning study of this object going. So from this object, seeing that that still has my underlay, and so getting the, the start going on here. 
So again, I went from this object having rough underlay using some, you know, tracing paper. It's not too expensive, so you can just go for it, do it rough, and then slowly build up your values. It was um, uh, another version I had just before. This one, the values work, worked in a, l a little bit more. All right. So now I'm going to move on into the little Mr. Snail. So again, remember with all these objects, break them down into cylinders, cubes, cones, spheres and it'll make your life a lot easier instead of especially with this one trying to look at it and be like oh my god it's got all these angles and cutaways and you know initially looking at this there's a lot going on but if you can just kind of segment it and break it down it's kind of like if you have a big project to do you are not going to think about everything that you have to do you're going to freak out and not get anything done um, so just by Starting off with little pieces and breaking it down is going to help you out. So again for Mr. Snail. Could be Mrs. Snail, I don't I don't know. So if we look at this, we can see, oh, hey, look at, we've kind of got a cylinder here, but the center is cut out, so it's kind of two cap ends, and then the body is pretty much a little cylinder, cylinder, kind of almost a cone for the tail, and two sphere for eyes, so I can almost imagine this being a full-on... Cylinder, right? Then it's got this little couple inner parts. And again, I'm not worrying about how good this looks. If I were to break down this into one, two, and three, so here we have one cylinder. Cone two, these two pieces are cylinder and cylinder, so one, two, three, four, let me just say five, six are two spheres, so again, I'm going to draw through the object as so I could see through it. cylinder here and just be you know be relaxed just kind of go for it I get remember using cheap paper it doesn't matter so just you know don't even think about it just go for it it's a little messy it's okay because this isn't your final it's not your final drawing all right so have that again kind of looking simple construction and, and maybe I'll, I'll add in a contour line here again if you're to think about this as a cube and you were to use the use your X method 
can give you an idea of where your where your contour line would go. Again, on these ones, major and minor axis. Draw this down. side of this back wheel a little bit. Alright, so we got a good start there. Now say paper, I'm just going to flip this over. Again, you'll use a fresh sheet of paper. Keep your pencil sharp. So again, we can use, you can use pen or colored pencil. I'm just using colored pencil today. And then you can actually, later on, we'll add a marker to these and they'll be on, on Thursday. So, and we'll just start in here, using this for reference. So like this is round, rounded out a little bit. And even the nose here, it's not totally flat. It's got a little bit of a round edge. some lines in there. We can always come back to this and tighten it up. But again, I'm starting off really, really light. start adding in some line weight to this. And I usually use my shoulder, but here I'm kind of doing some light strokes and using my the end of my pinky kind of as a, a pivot point, almost using it like a compass. So as I slowly rotate my page, I'm getting more of a curve. Building some more line value here. Try to keep your so pretty sharp. I 
if something looks a little bit off, you can you know, always overlay back on your the original drawing just to finish it out. And this is great practice for when you start to build your own objects because you're referencing real life objects. So with this one, I put in a little bit of hard edge there. Um, I would lighten that up a little bit. So I made a little mistake, but you can always come back in. This is a rounded edge here. So you can always restart this. This is just, you know, it could be like your, your reference drawing here. So, yeah, just building up the line weight. Now I can actually could use this as a reference piece for when we go into marker study. But these first assignments are to break down these objects into their basic forms, cylinders, cones. If you want to add in a little shading, you can, but the main point is to understand the objects. So... If you left it in a more refined form of this, that would work. That would work great as well. objects roughed out. Then coming back and adding in some detail. Alrighty. Cool. Thanks guys.